Hi people, Software Scientific here. In this video, I will teach you how to generate the frontier molecular orbitals of 1,3-butadiene using OniFree software. So here I prepared a PDF of the general process we will follow in this video. And to generate the frontier molecular orbitals, let's say the highest occupied molecular orbital and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of 1,3-butadiene, we will use Avogadro software, Orca, and IBOView. I will provide the link to each of these uh, in the description of this video. So I'll, the first step is to generate the structure of butadiene using Avogadro. Uh, the structure of uh, the molecule is very simple. Let me draw it here. So so that's uh, one tree butadiene. If you press Control Alt N it will generate the name. Uh, of course, it can also be called buta one tree dine because the double bond is at the one and the tree position. So the second step is to use Avogadro software to generate the input file for our molecule that will go into Orca software and Orca will then carry out a calculation that will generate our molecular orbitals, which can then be visualized in IBO view. In essence, what the molecular orbitals are, they're a statistical, they're a mathematical representation of the position and the wave-like behavior of electrons at the given energy level. So uh, the most interesting energy levels, of course, are the homo and the lumo. And these are the these are the orbitals we will visualize today. So let us go to Avogadro software. Here we will uh, generate our molecule. So let me delete this. So we draw our molecule and we will make two double bonds here. So once we have our molecule ready, we need to do a small uh, structure optimization. Uh, we do this using this auto optimization tool. Uh, so we just click the tool, press start, and our molecule will, uh, the, the structure of our molecule will be optimized to uh, an approximate lowest energy level. So then using Avogadro, uh, which uh, the version of this Avogadro I actually downloaded off of the Orca site, which provides a special version of Avogadro that has an extension that can create Orca input files. We can take this molecule, we can go into extensions, go into Orca and generate the Orca input. So this Orca input will uh, essentially provide Orca software with instructions of the type of calculation to carry out and the 3D coordinates of our 1-tree butadiene. So the methods and the basis set that we will use in this case are MP2 and we will use the smallest basis set. Um, it doesn't matter too much in this case uh, which method and basis set we use as it is such a small molecule and we're also not interested uh, too much in accuracy we're more interested in the bigger picture uh, at the end I will compare the our output with the literature to see how close we get so we will generate this input file press generate and we'll make a a new folder and we will say we will save it as butadiene.inp which stands for input so having generated our input file we then uh, run orca on that input file uh, to generate our output file Okay, 
So. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that the type of calculation we want to do is a geometry optimization because the geometry that we created and optimized with Avogadro is not uh, the lowest possible energy that we can achieve. Uh, so we don't want to do a single point energy calculation. Of course, Avogadro, sorry, Orca software, once we, uh, once it does the geometry optimization, it will also do a single point energy calculation on the optimized coordinates. So um, I will open PowerShell in this folder. I do this by holding uh, shift and right clicking. This option appears here. Normally it doesn't appear. And what this does is it essentially saves us from having to do the change directory command to access this folder, since we, are, we open it in this folder. So we will then run Orca. Again, the directory of Orca, then Um, we write this command which uses orca.exe then since we are in our butadiene folder we use butadiene.input uh, as the input file and then we want to specify that we want the calculation to output in a .out file as opposed to overwriting our .imp file. So we press enter. You can see here the calculation is running. Uh, if you want to see the progress of the calculation, you can open the .out file at any point using your uh, text editor of choice. That's the wrong file. While we wait for the calculation to finish, you can uh, admire the beautiful ASCII art. The calculation usually takes uh, on, on a molecule this size and my processor, uh, which is an i7-11700K, uh, it takes about a minute. Okay, so you can see the calculation finished as nothing else is happening. We can double check that the calculation has uh, successfully completed by opening the file and then searching for the keywords converged. So you can see the, the calculation converged after 10 cycles, which is good. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you can see how long the, the calculation took which is about uh, almost a minute. And uh, Orca did a lot of uh, a lot of different calculations on this molecule, uh, including the geometry optimization, which I mentioned earlier, uh, for which you can find the coordinates uh, somewhere in this file. Uh, the next step that we have to do is uh, using our output file, we will then use uh, an Orca tool to generate the extension, uh, to generate a file that includes the, all the molecular orbitals, which we can use in IBO soft, IBO view to visualize the homo and the demo. So if you go onto the IBO website, the instructions on the website specify that to use IBO with Orca, we have to use this command to generate the input. So, I will do this now. 
I'm in the Botadine folder, uh, so I can open Orca, use the command Orca underscore to MKL, and then I will put in the name of my file without the extension. So I don't write dot out, I just write botadine. And then molden. So it's like, as you can see, a new file called botadine.molden.input appears. I can now open IBO view. I drag our Botadine into the IBO view software. Uh, one issue with the software is that it doesn't show double bonds, but we know that they're there. Uh, now, once our molecule is open, we go into data sets and here, uh, you, as you can see, Orca not only calculated the HOMO and the LUMO, but also calculated a lot more of the other occupied and unoccupied molecular orbitals that are possible in this, uh, in this particular molecule. So double click to see our HOMO. And here we can see our LUMO. You can play around with the software to uh, change how nice the orbitals appear, essentially. And you can visualize multiple orbitals at the same time. You can even see uh, lower, ener lower energy molecular orbitals and higher energy molecular orbitals that are theoretically possible. They're very interesting molecular orbitals, I gotta say. So just to confirm, just to uh, compare with literature, I have, uh, I have a file here that shows that shows the LUMO. As you can, uh, as you can see, it is very close to what we calculated. Of course, there are certain differences, but that just uh, comes down to the ac accuracy of our method and our basis set. Uh, of course, using a larger basis set with different polarization functions, we can achieve uh, much better results. But uh, in this case, I am very happy with uh, the results of our calculation. And you can see our homo also uh, closely corresponds to the literature. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this content and you would like to see more of it, uh, please subscribe. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you gave it a like. And I hope you have a nice day.